Right, let's do another proof by induction. This time we're going to prove that for all natural numbers n, n squared plus n is even. So we're going to prove that for all natural numbers n, n squared plus n, whoops, n squared plus n is even. Proof by induction. Okay, now we can just try it for a few values of n, right? I mean, let's try it for the first few. For 1, we get 1 plus 1, which is 2. For 2, we get 4 plus 2, which is 6. For 3, we get 9 plus 3, which is uh, 12. So perhaps you can see why it's true without using induction, which is that if it's even, then both of these things are even. And if it's odd, are both of these things going to be odd? In which case, we'll get something even out. Well, let's prove it by induction. So first we check the n equals 1 case. n equals 1, then 1 squared plus 1 equals 2, which is indeed even. So now let's do the induction step. So we assume that it's true for n equals k, so that that's k squared plus k is even. And what we want to do is show that if this is true, then the next one up is true. So we want to show what's the next one up. Well, that k plus 1 squared plus k plus 1 is even. Well, what is k plus 1 squared plus k plus 1? Well, let's uh, write it out, shall we? It's k plus, it's k squared plus 2k plus 1 plus k plus 1. So this was the first part, and that's the second part. Well, now, we know that k squared plus k is even, right? So let's take out k squared plus k. Just, we're just going to rearrange things a bit. And then what do we get left? We get 2k plus 2. 2k plus 2 because we've got 2k here, and a 1 and a 1, which makes 2k plus 2, which is the same as 2k plus 2. So this is the same as that, I hope you can see. But look, this part is even by assumption. This part is even because it's 2 times something is even because it's divisible by 2. It's obviously divisible by 2. And we know that if we add something even with something else even, then the result is definitely even. So the right hand side is even. Hence, the result is true for k plus 1. For n equals k plus 1. So by induction, by induction, it is true for all n in the natural numbers. I'm going to put a little box to signify the fact that we're done. So let's just recap what we did. First, we checked it was true for n equals 1. 
Then we said, suppose it's true for n equals k, then it's definitely true for n equals k plus 1. So we've done the first bit, and then we've done the step. We've done the starting case, we've done the step, so we've done it for all n in the natural numbers. 